Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 24th, 2021. Well, yesterday, my goodness, those bulls just raged yesterday with a massive, massive push into big tech kind of leading the way. Now, CNBC would like you to believe that it was all because of the FDA's approval of Pfizer. And I will say that certainly probably added some levity to the market yesterday. But if if it were all Pfizer moving things up, um, why is it that we had so many big tech giants setting new record highs yesterday? I think it's tech that led the way. And um, there may also be that little bit of love coming into the market with the House, um, U.S. House pushing forward in an attempt to pass another five trillion dollars in deficit spending and we all know the market loves deficit spending so what does that mean for today well how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's settle in buckle up and get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you all so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Hey, I want to remind everyone on Thursday, Thursday, I'm going to be teaching a, um, a basic options class. I know there's a lot of new options traders in the market. I've been getting lots of emails from folks that are struggling tremendously in this market with their options trading. And I'm going to be doing a class that um, will cover the basics, give you a set of rules, and work through um, a directional option strategy that can help a lot of folks, I think, get on track. Now, I'm not suggesting that the way I trade is the right way for everyone, but there are some common rules that are very, very important to follow if you are going to get into that um, world of option trading. So if you're interested, make sure you click the link. It's below the title of the video. There's three links in there, but you'll see it'll be below the title of the video video and um, so please uh, check that out and by the way um, in this basic option class it's gonna go it'll be um, considerably long with everyone's questions answered and um, we will also um, be offering you a free membership to hit and run candlesticks and right way options for a full month to reinforce that education in your trading so please if you have some interest in that or if you know someone that needs some help along those areas please share that link so with that how let's dive into these um index charts as you can see here my goodness um Big strong rally here yesterday. We just surged hard. We gapped and ran yesterday in this move and we're continuing to push higher this morning. Of course, we still have the resistance high up here, unfortunately, of the Dow. No record highs here in the Dow and we will have to deal with some of this price resistance up in here. But we have certainly recovered. And if we were to use this as the trend right here, strong recovery bouncing right here off of our 50 day moving average, bulls are definitely in control. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY just surging out to new record highs. Although we had a little bit of selling right into the close, which was modest at best, um, it's kind of remarkable when we see these kind of volatile swings. And if you're wondering why you're feeling really challenged in this market, just think about the aspect that we broke price support and then in three days recovered to set new record highs. That kind of whipsaw is challenging for anyone in the market. So be, uh, don't feel too bad if you're being challenged in here. And this actually tells us how much danger there is in this market. So be really, really careful here about chasing stocks into this uh, new record high. Let's make sure that we watch this closely and let's see if we can prove. Let's have this market prove that it can hold that new record high before we start 
um, rushing into um, issues in the market. Be really, really careful with that. Chasing overextended stocks that moved this big can be kind of a dangerous thing to do. And um, that, the, to give you an idea, just the, the S&P 500 itself rallied more than 110 points in three days. That's a remarkable recovery. And it also tells us the danger of the volatility in this move, how we can break supports and then leap right back up to new record highs um, in just three days. So watch that closely and remember that anytime we can rise like this, we can fall just as quickly. So kind of keep that in mind. Don't chase overly extended stocks. And then if we take a look at the QQQ, also new record highs and this was remarkable. Um, um, the, the NASDAQ composite has gained 519 points in just three trading days after breaking the lows of support, coming back for a test of the 50-day moving average, and then just seeing the buyers rush back into trades and really pushing tech higher. We saw new record highs in Microsoft, new record highs in Google, new record highs in NVIDIA, and other tech stocks just surging yesterday as the buyers raced back in to those companies. So again, be careful not to chase these stocks that are kind of extended in these moves. Let's make sure now that we've broken this resistance and remember how difficult this resistance was. So let's make sure that now that we have broken it, that we can hold that as support before we get too carried away in chasing stocks to the upside. Remember, anytime you move this many points, and by the way, that's um, over three and a half percent gain in just three days on the NASDAQ. Just remember that when we rally like that, it's not out of the question to see some profit taking, some pullback that could come in to play and just watch for that resting pullback here and see if we hold that support. And then there's going to be better buying opportunities setting up in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had a really good day yesterday surging and a lot of the surge came because there was a, a rise in oil prices. So we surged nicely here after testing our 200 day moving average, breaking it and surging back. But let's kind of keep in mind guys that we are not out of the woods here on IWM. There is a massive amount of price resistance in here working against this index. And then also notice our 50-day moving average that is in decline. So what you want to watch for here is that possibility that we could create some kind of a lower high in here in that index. It's only going to be safe if we set a higher low in some place, maybe break that 50, set that higher low, and then we can see that bullishness come back into play. We could also pull back in here, set that higher low, and then have that opportunity to attack that 50 day. So watch that closely. Um, these kind of whipsaws are very, very dangerous for most traders, so watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX selling off nicely here. We had that surge of fear, and then all of a sudden the fear dropping out like crazy and so we drop below our 50-day moving average but what i do want to point out here and i do think this is a problem for us not a major problem but it is a problem for us and that is the fact that we set new record highs in the spy and the qqq and yet we have not set new lows here in the vix so you'll want to keep an eye on that that doesn't necessarily mean anything bad it just means that we are still relatively elevated here in the vix for the current price of the um, indexes and you'll want to keep an eye on that just in case that profit taking wave comes in and we actually move to the upside um, setting a bit of a higher low in the market so below the 50-day moving average bullish for the market i'm not suggesting that this is this means anything bad for us here in the market at all just be uh, kind of watchful of it just in case just in case and there are some things out there that give me just a little tiny bit of concern first off let's take a look at our t2107 
2107 is the percent of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And you can see we did get a nice little surge back up on that. But we have this interesting dynamic in the market where we have the haves and the have nots. And um, the haves are certainly big tech, big tech, healthcare, and uh, surprisingly defensive sector stocks um, doing quite well. And then the have nots, just a ton of stocks out there that are suffering badly. It's like we're sucking a whole bunch of money out of these stocks um, and pushing it all into one area, and that's big tech, really shoving that money into that big tech. Now, how much longer that condition can continue, I don't know, but it is kind of an odd situation to see so many stocks below their 200-day moving average and still setting record highs in the market. So keep an eye on that. If we can start breaking these downtrends and holding higher lows in here, then we might be just fine. But it is a circumstance that seems a little bit odd um, with the current strength of the market. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 did a good job yesterday rallying up. It was interesting that in this three-day rally where we set new record highs, you wanna notice that we really didn't push all the way back up in here, which is kind of that odd situation where we still have so many stocks that are lagging way behind and below their 200 day. So keep a close eye on this. We did cross back up through this midway point here in that um, um, indicator. And remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. It just tells us where those pressure relief points are in the chart. So what it's telling us is we certainly have, if we can find enough bullish inspiration, we certainly have more upside potential here in this market. And also, if we were to see those bears re-engage for some reason, we certainly have um, a pretty good opening to the downside, which what I was kind of show you in those index charts is that potential of how big those whipsaws could be. So be kind of careful chasing um, stocks. And then let's take a look at T2101. Now I've been mentioning this for a while, T2101. And it's a good sign, I think, that our market breadth has increased here. Um, we saw a good surge in market breadth on that buying wave. So that's continuing to hold up. Now we've slipped here just a little bit yesterday, but I don't think there's anything, any major problem here. What we do wanna see and we, what we will have to kind of keep an eye on is this trend that's been moving like this. Will we break on through up here and hold and start coming up or will we start to see this tail back off? Um, hard to know, so watch that closely here in T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar um, has only one thing to really be majorly concerned about today, and that's going to be those new home sales. Um, keep an eye on that. Um, existing home sales yesterday came in ticking a little bit. Um, I think it was a little bit higher. And um, keep an eye on those new home sales. Um, that'll be the potential market mover for today, depending on um, how those sales come along. And then you'll want to think about this carefully as you plan for the through the end of the day. Remember, we've got durable goods orders. Now that that's probably going to be one of the bigger numbers of this week, followed by that GDP number. So kind of keep a close eye on that. I could certainly see an awful lot of price action movement around that durable goods order, depending on how that comes in. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now on our earnings calendar, we have about 33 companies reporting, but a good deal of those are unconfirmed. Uh, very small cap stocks. But let's take a look at some of the stocks that we'll be reporting that you might want to keep an eye on. Uh, BBY reporting this morning. Looks like they're getting a nice little bump here this morning in this move. Nice little bullish move. Um, holding off of, well, it's been in a major chop zone. As you can see, we're kind of stuck in a range here between a support and a resistance. So hopefully, um, or maybe, 
um, if this earnings report was strong enough, we might be able to have that opportunity to surge on through and maybe even break this resistance level up here in the chart. We're going to hear from Advance Auto Parts. Keep an eye on that. Looks like they are moving a little bit lower this morning here. A bit of a downtrend and a possibility that they could break this wedge to the downside. So keep a close eye on that. But one of the things we've seen here lately is even when an earnings report disappoints, after the initial reaction, buyers rush back in to buy it up. So um, keep a close eye on that. We might just turn right around in that chart. We will hear later today, we're going to hear from um, Intuit. Intuit has been on a unbelievable run new record highs this is another stock setting new record highs yesterday we're leaping to new record highs this morning so keep a close eye on into it we're going to hear from toll brothers toll brothers will want to watch for that report um, we'll have a retailer um, urban outfitters reporting today and pdd those are the list that's the list of stocks that i've put up here for potential notables um, although PDD uh, been in an ugly downtrend, notice right here, trying to break that downtrend this morning. So if this can hold up here, we might actually start turning around here on PDD. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, guys. But before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you see these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find the videos to be worthy, to be helpful in how you plan your day, please do me a favor. Click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments, and please, 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 feed um, click those share buttons as well and share this video out on your social feed. Now we get a lot of people watching these videos and not a lot of folks um, uh, commenting. So I really, really appreciate those who take the time to comment. Um, it helps a ton in that algorithm showing these videos to more folks. So if everyone, and all it takes is just a, even an emoji is um, a reaction um, to that video. It helps a lot. And if all of you guys could help me out, continue to grow the channel, I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And um, one of the things I want to remind everyone that as we look at these stocks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, um, you should be doing your own due diligence, making sure you are trading within your risk tolerances and that you are following your set of rules. It is never, ever a good idea to just blindly follow someone else's trade idea. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of these stocks that are looking uh, pretty darn good. Let's take a look. As you guys know, I've kind of been talking about Kroger here quite a bit. Now Kroger popping and dropping a little bit this morning, and it's about time, doggone it. This thing needs a rest or a pullback consolidation. This thing has been shooting up like crazy. So any rest consolidation or pullback in here toward this trend would set up that next opportunity in that chart. Kroger looking good. This consumer defensive sector is being seeing lots and lots of buying coming in there. So watch those closely. Let's take a look at um, Altria. Now Altria has been struggling, struggled a little bit yesterday and we are battling this downtrend. This is another one of those consumer defensive stocks and a big strong dividend pair. Struggled a little bit here yesterday, but notice we've broken this downtrend move in the chart. We're starting to make this little upside move. So let this continue to rest in here. See if we can engage this trend and have that opportunity to move to the upside. Now when the it's looking quite a little bit better. Take a look at Philip Morris. Philip Morris in that same sector holding up very strongly and it did have a little bit of selling yesterday but notice we're popping right back up here this morning. Keep a close eye on that. Another strong dividend payer picking up looking pretty good here so I'd keep an eye on that just in case that tends to or tries to move on through to the upside. You might want to take or keep an eye on some of these um, 
big old boring companies like Fi um, Procter and Gamble. Notice Procter has been bouncing against this, just banging its head, trying to break through this resistance in that chart. We've tried a little bit, haven't quite made it. Notice this nice, strong upside trend. If we can engage this trend and find that bullishness in the market and pop on through, we can see a pretty good upside run if we can break a major resistance level in a chart like that. So keep Proctor on your list. You might want to keep an eye on um, Fastenal. Uh, we're going to hear from Toll Brothers today, as I mentioned earlier. And Fastenal is one of those companies that supplies the fasteners, all the, all the pieces and parts. I have a very strong relationship with Fastenal because I used to build houses for a living. And, um, if the housing market is going to remain strong, show bullishness and all and everything in that housing market. Let's keep an eye on Fastenal here. Now we had some volatility and we've been seeing this on a lot of stocks here uh, the last few days where we broke support, broke support and reversed. Now, when that happens, you guys know this, that when I'm, I see a stock that breaks support, it's required to recover that support and then prove to hold. So maybe give me a couple more days of rest in here so that we can kind of spill off this volatility that we've seen here in this chart. So we get this volatility to spill off, just rest a little bit in here and then take back off to the upside. So keep an eye on Fastenal, kind of like that chart. Take a look at um, some of these stocks like DHI. If you're looking for a potential short, now we have a stock that is setting up. If you look right here, we have a little mini head and shoulders top setting up. But what's important about that is that it broke through that resistance and then failed that resistance. And as we rally back to this resistance area in the chart, watch for that potential failure to the downside. This still has that opportunity that this could move on through that resistance level and regain energy. But this is a really common shorting pattern that I like to trade and one that I would be watching closely just in case that happens to fail in this little head and shoulders uh, pattern. You also might want to take a look at take a look at DKS. Some of these retailers are um, pretty amazing here recently. Um, take a look at Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods holding this beautiful upside trend. We had this volatility show up in here. So once again, in that volatility, make that cross back up and prove to hold and then look for that opportunity in the trade. And I'm also seeing that in Decker's um, Decker's holding up really strong here in this upside move. So there are quite a few stocks looking good out there and recovering. Um, I would keep also keep an eye on utilities. Utilities have been remarkably strong, finally pulling back just a little bit yesterday. When the market gets a little bit nervous, a little bit shaky, utilities are a place where folks start to seek. And I'm beginning to believe, well, not beginning to believe, I think there's an institutional rotation going on here where we're rotating into the safer plays, um, the dividend payers, so you're going to want to pay attention to that. If um, these divvy payers continue to gain strength, that may be that signal that we might be reaching a, a top area in the market. So just watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. I want to wish you great results. I hope everyone has a profitable day. And we will see you right back here, bright and early. Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone. Take care.